The title of this video is not clickbait, so if you want to find out, stick around. So I know you're all here for the title, and we will get to that in a bit. For those of you that have been here for a while or are here because of the one and a half million view engine build video, I just want to give you an update on where I've been. It's been like six months since I've posted anything on here and I feel like I kind of owe you guys a little bit of an update. So I've been pretty busy over the summer. Uh, I still post regularly on Instagram, so if you've been following there, you'll see some of these updates. Uh, I didn't like quit YouTube, I just didn't have time to do it because currently, uh, well, sort of currently, I'm working a full-time 40 hour week job. I am building engines here at home and doing like fabrication projects for Miatas here at the house. And I'm also set up at a local performance shop, Upstate Speed and Performance, doing fabrication work for them uh, and like anything else that requires a lift that I might do, so exhausts or whatever, uh, I do all that there. So I'm really bouncing all over the place and I still have to make time for my uh, wife and my dog who I do like to spend time with every so often. So I had to kind of make a decision and the easiest one for me was to obviously, you know, keep my day job, grow the business on the side, and then once it allowed, I would pick the camera back up and kind of get back to you guys. Obviously that one and a half million view video was crazy. I never expected that. Uh, it's opened a lot of doors for me, which is great. And it really showed me like kind of the potential that the YouTube side of things has. Not that I ever expect that to happen again, but we'll see. So updates on me or Nat Motorsports in general. If you guys saw on Cars and Bids, the turbo case swap is gone. I sold that in September, early September, late August, to a, an old friend of mine actually ended up buying it off the auction site down in Georgia. So that car is gone. He's a crazy good mechanic. He's not a full-time mechanic, but he's crazy good with cars. And I know he'll take care of it and fix all the little things that kind of ended up driving me nuts with the car. And I sold that because I had replaced it in July with an NC. I know some of you Miata people hate NCs, but uh, it's because you haven't driven one. We did a review for one that was absolutely killer. That was like the, the whatever, final nail in the coffin for me wanting an NC. Same way I wanted an NA, I drove somebody else's and I was like, this is, I have to have this. So I now own a 2008 uh, Power Tractable Hardtop or PRHT. Grand Touring Spec NC, it's a six-speed manual, all the options, heated seats, which is great up here. And uh, we did like a crazy, it was like a two or three day build on the car right after I got it, which was also right before Daniel from Boffy Racing drove it from Rochester, New York to the Tail of the Dragon and back. Uh, it's the longest road trip he's ever done in his life, so. The car currently has, uh, we put Zetas on it from 949 Racing, if you don't know, find out because they're the best coilover ever. Enki TSVs, tires, and some G-Lock brakes uh, from Track Prep Performance. So if you need any parts, hit them up. I built a custom intake for it right before we left. Uh, I just have like some scrap metal hanging around. So I built a three inch intake for it, which we'll get to that in a bit. And then also it's got some AWR engine mounts on it, which are also 2.5 capable. So uh, shout out AWR. So it's, I don't want to say it's built. It's like, it's slightly modified at the moment. It's great. Uh, it's comfortable. My wife and I took it to Cincinnati and back, which is like seven hours each way, if you obey speed limits. That car is currently up for storage for the winter. It's at the shop. Um, I will be using it to make parts. So it will be the base of intakes 2.5 and, and three inch intake. So plug and play and tune required. Uh, planning on doing an oil pan like the Esslinger oil pan, kind of oversized with baffling and stuff like that. I'll be doing exhausts for them. Uh, that one will get its own custom exhaust, but I will be doing like a bolt-on axle back situation at least. And then I also am intending on providing a full, like one-click 2.5 swap package uh, for the NC. So I have a 2.5 actually right there uh, out of a Ford Fusion, and it's like the it's the VVT swap of the NC world. So it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty cost effective. It's like a quarter of the cost of a K swap. And uh, 
I struggled to find really like a one-stop shop of where to get everything. So I would like to kind of manufacture my own parts for it and then just offer a package. So if you want to 2.5 swap your car and you don't want to do all the research on what parts you need, you can just pull up, click the link, check out what options you want, and then go on your way. Uh, that's obviously all to come this winter. And I'm uh, pretty excited for that. Pretty excited to do that uh, swap. I also have some Gen V ITVs from Boffy Racing in my office. And I have a Goodwin two inch primary header. So it should be a fun little car, maybe 215, 220 wheel on a nice dyno and uh, it's going to be great at the Dragon which is the goal for the car. So enough rambling about the NC and about the Miatas, let's let's get to why you're all here. So for those of you that don't know, uh, some of you are surprised by this which is funny, uh, I do work a full time job, I'm an engineer uh, Monday through Friday. I spent the last nine years, maybe ten, nine, in the optics industry doing manufacturing and mechanical kind of engineering for four different companies now. As you can see, I like to bounce around a little bit. It's been fun. I've worked on a lot of cool projects. There's a few that like kind of will always stick with me. The uh, 2020 Mars Rover, all of the optics in the like uh, organic compound scanning thing. That was my project at my first company, Optimax. And then uh, it used to be called the W First, but now it's the Nancy Roaming Grace Space Telescope. That was pretty much my entire involvement when I worked at L3 Harris, kind of shuffling that through. Couldn't tell you when that's going to launch. It's a pretty big project. It was cool to work on, and I will 100% be watching the launch. It is cool, you know, like, to be able to say I've worked on things that are on Mars or that are in space. Uh, but to me, like, long term, it's really not... It's not fulfilling, I guess. Maybe that's the right word. And uh, I can't see myself sitting behind a desk for the next 30 years of my life. It's just not like, uh, I don't sit still well. I don't, uh, you know, just do paperwork well. It's just not my thing. And I always come home and I'm always in the garage uh, pretty much every day until 10, 11 o'clock at night, sometimes two in the morning, depending on what needs to be done. And while it's a lot of work, like, I love doing this stuff. So. Uh, today is November 8th, uh, November 10th, so this Friday, which will be yesterday if you're watching this when it comes out, was my last day of full-time employment. I put my two weeks notice in, all that stuff, and I've been just kind of working my way through the last remaining tasks that I have and handing off what I'm not going to be able to finish. It doesn't feel real. Like, if, if I told you you're going to wake up tomorrow and like balls 100% in your court but you get to do what you love every day it's kind of it's going to take me a while I think to realize that like this is life this is what I have to do um and hopefully like hopefully I have fun with it uh we're going to give it a shot for a year is the agreement between my wife and I uh, she is obviously fully employed as a nurse so there's kind of some some safety net there but um uh, I am clean cut no longer have a stable paycheck entirely in the Miata and fabrication scene. So without getting into like a 40 minute long thank you speech, there are a few people I want to thank. Obviously my wife, this has been like six months of discussion, of serious discussion to get to the point where we are now. It's very tough to decide to, you know, immediately delete one paycheck from a household. Thankfully it's just the two of us and our dog. We don't have a kid to worry about right now so it's uh it's easier it's still not easy and then obviously i've had some some great support networks some good friends uh that i talk to every day about this stuff uh people who do it people who have seen other people do it and know what kind of know what i'm going through you guys know who you are i literally could not do this without you guys so uh i don't want to name everybody and then accidentally forget somebody there's a lot of you uh this wouldn't be possible without so words can't describe how thankful i am to have people like you in my life uh, it makes all the difference, and uh, my anxiety is through the roof, but bringing it down a little bit by uh, being able to talk to people about this stuff. So, uh, And then, lastly, all of you guys that watch this, uh, watch these videos, buy my parts, work with me on engine builds, stuff like that, uh, like, you guys are it. I mean, it's, it's crazy to think that uh, right now, when I put this video up, there's like, 
13,000 of you that sit on the other side of that screen and watch this, uh, that also doesn't feel real. And the support I've gotten through the website for parts and things that I've made and like compliments on the fab work, help on the fab work. Some of you guys have helped point me in the right direction. Uh, it's, it's astounding. I mean, it's like this whole community is the best thing. It's why I love doing this kind of stuff. Uh, it's not the money. It's not whatever. If, if I was about the money, I would stay at my day job. Um, it's about the people you meet. Uh, it's about the support you get. And it's something I really, really hope I get to do for the rest of my life. So, um, yeah, it's, this is crazy to me, so I, I'm sorry if I'm rambling, but, so thank you to all of you, this is, it's insane, it's incredible, um, I will be picking the camera back up, obviously this is the first video, I do have some good content lined up, I'm not going to be doing weekly videos, I don't think I'm not going to structure it that way, I obviously have to kind of work first, play later, but I do have some things lined up that I think I'll be that I think will be interesting, both from like a technical side of things, like the engine build video, uh, I've got a VVT swap planned, I've got the 2.5 build and swap planned for you guys, and all the fab work that's going to go along with that. And then, um, yeah, we'll see where it goes from there, but I miss doing the editing, I miss doing the filming, it is a lot of work, but it's, it's also very rewarding, so I'd like to get back into it. And with that, uh, I look forward to where the next year is going to take us. This is going to be really crazy to me. I appreciate all the support again. And uh, there will be Black Friday sales. What is it? Next week, starting the 18th, November 18th through to Cyber Monday. So if you are looking for any parts or you've been looking for any parts of mine, but you're just waiting for a deal, they are coming. And yeah, we'll see what other parts I get to bring to market now. Thanks for watching this like 10 to 15 minute ramble video of mine. You'll be seeing more of me in the future.